Hey, I'm Rhett Scholl. Welcome back to another video. So recently I had an opportunity to travel to Mojo Tone headquarters in Burga, North Carolina to take part in one of their amp building classes. And I came home with this. This is a 57 Tweed Deluxe kit that Mojo Tone sells, and it's everything that you need to build your own 5E3 Tweed Deluxe circuit. Now, it took a little bit of getting used to. I've never owned a Tweed amp before, and I don't have a lot of time spent on a Tweed style circuit. So it took a minute to kind of wrap my head around the interactive volume controls and what the different channels do and how the tone control reacts differently depending on what channel you're plugged into. But once I figured all that out, I was blown away by how good this thing sounds. It's extremely versatile. It takes pedals well. It's got enough power and headroom to get over the drummer and fill up just about any stage I would find myself playing. So honestly, I'm really happy with this thing. It's my go-to amp for just about any gig now. But there's one thing about this amp that I don't really like, and we're gonna fix that today. Now, when you order the 5E3 kit from Mojo Tone, they include everything you need to build the whole amp. That's the cabinet, the components, the tubes, and the speaker. Now, the speaker they include is this Jensen Special Design. It's a 12-inch ceramic speaker made in Italy, and I just think it's the wrong speaker for the 5E3 to my ear. The low end is kind of loose and flubby, especially when you're playing a humbucker guitar. And there's an upper mid-range bite that really jumps out and can get harsh depending on what channel you're in and how overdriven the amp is. At first, I thought that was because the speaker just needed to break in, but after playing it for hours and hours, the speaker hasn't really opened up to the point where I like it. So today we're gonna to tackle the easiest and quite possibly the most effective mod you can do to any amplifier we're gonna swap the speaker with one of these. Obviously, these are two classic Celestion speakers. In my right hand, I have the Alnico Blue. In my left hand, I have a UK-made Greenback. Now, both of these speakers have been broken in, so we're not comparing a brand new speaker to a worn-in used speaker. The Alnico Blue was broken in by Ben Calhoun at Righteous Guitars. He used it in a 412 cab back in the repair shop at a previous guitar store he used to work at. It has plenty of hours on it, so it's really well broken in. Same thing with the Greenback. This also lived in a 412 cabinet. The previous owner told me that it was never gigged, but he did play around the house with it quite a bit. Both speakers, however, are in basically mint condition. Other than a little solder on the leads here, these speakers are essentially brand new. Okay, so before we get to swapping speakers, we need to hear the stock speaker as a baseline. If you're interested in the signal chain, what mics and preamps and stuff I'm using, that will all be in the description box down below. I'm just gonna plug straight into the amp, no effects, so let's hear what it sounds like. So that was the stock speaker. Let's get the green back in first.
Okay, that greenback has already made a massive difference. Much more low end response, a smoother top end, not as much of that harsh upper mid range. I'm really digging the way that greenback sounds, but let's hear the blue and then decide which one wins. There's a reason Alnico Blues are my favorite speakers. For me, this is definitely the speaker that's gonna stay in this amp, but I'm really digging this green back and I'm gonna keep it. I don't know what I'm gonna put it in yet. I've got a couple of options for cabs that that can go in. It's a really great sounding speaker. It's got a nice round low end. The top end is nice and smooth. It's not really brittle. It's not super harsh. I think that speaker would work well for me in the tweed if I was only playing single coil guitars. If I was playing really bright strats and tellies only, I think the green back would probably be the way to go. But I play a wide variety of guitars with different pickup combinations. P90s, Filtertrons, Humbuckers. And for me, the Alnico blue is much more balanced. It's got everything I wanted out of this amp when I first built it. It's got loud, powerful bottom end. The top end is clear and brilliant. It's got this nice chime that we all know and love out of Alnico speakers. Now, I really love that this one's already broken in, and you can tell that when I switch to the bright channel, the top end isn't really harsh and biting. It's also slightly more efficient speaker, so it's louder than the Greenback and certainly louder than the stock Jensen. I knew I wasn't a fan of that Jensen, but now listening to that compared to these two Celestians, that speaker is, uh, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. At first I was planning on putting it in a different cabinet or possibly throwing it in my Blues Junior and seeing how that goes. There just is no comparison to these two Celestians. But I wanna hear what was your favorite speaker, the Greenback, the Blue, or maybe you like the Jensen. Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, if you're a Kemper user, I will have profiles of this amp coming very soon, so be on the lookout for that. You can also check out all of my other Kemper profiles of my amps that I've done so far, linked in the description box down below. Also, if you wanna get in contact with me, you can find links to that on my website in the description box. If you're interested in any of the gear that I use to make these videos, that's all linked down below, and those are affiliate links. So if you buy through one of those links, I get a small commission, which really helps support the channel. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, and remember, there is no plan B.